Hello and welcome back to the Hughes Enterprises channel. I just got a new camera today, so bear with any weirdness you might see in the video production. Learning as I go. But we're looking at a Luger today. Just pick this one up. A lot of you know what a Luger pistol is. It's a very early automatic pistol produced from 1900 through about 1947. Some are made by Mauser in the 70s. Some made by Mitchell Arms. And a few are made by Luger Man today, 45 caliber, 10 millimeter. But most of the ones you see are World War II or World War I production. Let's do a little bit of gun buying 101. As a gun buyer for two years at Cabela's, and I bought many hundreds of guns, if not thousands. So, when you come across a gun like this, that doesn't have a whole lot of like model information, caliber information, everything that you want right on it, like a modern gun, you have to do a little digging to find out what you're looking at, and a little more digging to find out if it's all original. So what kind of Luger is this? First off, we can look at the toggle. This is the flat grip style of toggle. So we know this is the new model Luger, 1906 or newer. But we have this kind of interesting thing, grip safety. You don't see grip safeties on very many Lugers. Let's pan out a little bit so you can pick this up. Up the magazine. This is an early World War I or prior style of magazine, nickel plated with a wood bottom. But magazines can be interchanged between guns. Who knows if this is really original? I mean, look at the finish of the gun, which is remarkably good. And if you're looking to buy a gun like this, you should be scared of a condition that's this nice. Because most of the Lugers that you find in this condition have been refinished. But there's a few things we can look at and see that this one is all, all original. We have a safety lever here. You can flip it up. And normally you'd see safe written in German there. Let's zoom up a little bit. Looks kind of weird, doesn't it? It's like they forgot to finish it. That's actually correct for certain styles of Lugers. That's the safety indicator. They left it bright from the factory and didn't finish it. Didn't finish it. Kind of cool. Look up top. It's manufactured by DWM. Okay, they made quite a few guns. But what's most interesting is right here. That crest is not something you see on a Luger very often. Kind of looks American, doesn't it? All right. What else can we look at on this? Calpers, this thing. So a lot of old Lugers you find are in 30 Luger, 7.65 caliber. 9 millimeters are a lot more desirable because you can find the ammo just about anywhere. So what caliber is this one? 
definitely not 30 caliber. This is a 9 millimeter. Of course, 4 inch barrel. So what is this thing? Put it all together. We have a 4 inch barrel, 9 millimeter Luger, manufactured by D DWM. It's a 1906 new model with an American Eagle crest. So that means this is a what is known as the 1906 American Eagle commercial in 9mm, which happens to be a very scarce, some might even say a very rare variation of the Luger pistol. Only 3,000 were made in 1906. Since we know this gun was made in 1906, we can look back at this magazine and say, yes, this is definitely a period correct 1906 magazine, which means likely that this is the original magazine, since 1906 magazines were not serial numbered. So, pretty cool. This is a very rare gun and even much more rare that it's in this kind of condition. The blue I would grade at about 85 to 90 percent. The strawed parts at about 60 to 70 percent. What's most surprising is that the grips, the checkering is still sharp Hopefully you can pick that up in the camera. But if you've been around Lugers and you've shot Lugers, usually the grips are stained dark brown from decades and decades of over-oiling. And they've worn flat and smooth over time from heavy use. But this one has somehow managed to survive the last 113 years without much wear or damage at all. In fact, this is an all numbers matching gun. Not a single part has ever broken or been replaced. Even the extractor is original. When a cartridge is loaded on the left side of the extractor, it'll pop up and say loaded in English. So, as you can imagine, a very rare Luger with only 3,000 produced in this kind of condition, being original, never refinished, all numbers matching, is a very expensive gun. These sell at auction for 3,000, 5,000, estimates of close to $10,000. This one's probably somewhere in the middle. And most of the people that buy guns like this don't want to shoot them. Because if you break apart on this, you might lose a thousand or two thousand dollars in collector value, being that it's a shooter now and a part has been replaced. It's not numbers matching anymore. But I think I'm willing to take that risk. So let's go take this out to the range and put some rounds through a 113 year old 1906 American Eagle commercial Luger. Alright, we're out on the range now with our 1906 American Eagle Luger. And what better ammunition to shoot through an American Eagle Luger than American Eagle 9mm Luger. So let's load up this original magazine and try it out. I've never shot this gun before, so you will learn as soon as I do whether this gun works or not. It would be a little disappointing if it doesn't work. I spent quite a bit of money on it. 
Notice I haven't done any work to it at all. I haven't changed any springs. I haven't really done much cleaning besides a uh, light lubrication. Magazine seems to load all right. Spring might seem a little bit on the weak side, but might be okay. All right. We got eight rounds of 124 grain American Eagle Luger going in our American Eagle Luger. Make sure that's seated. And let's try it out. Good start. So, function was 100%. Not quite sure where it's hitting. The first couple shots seemed to go left. Next couple shots seemed to go right where I was aiming. So, huh. Let's load up another eight rounds and try it out again. All right, eight more rounds of 124 grain. American Eagle 9mm going into the American Eagle 9mm. That's never going to get old. And I'm back at uh, about uh, 15 yards right now from some 8 inch steel plates. Let's move in a little bit closer just to see where this thing's hitting. Okay. We're at 10 yards now. Should be quite a bit easier to hit these plates. Hopefully that's in the frame. So, it shoots high, really high, but 100% reliable so far, which I am quite happy with, being that this is 113 years old, and I haven't even really cleaned it yet. Pretty, pretty cool. I am very happy. So, let's put one more mag through it just for fun and wrap this up. All right, eight more rounds in the magazine. These springs are notoriously stiff springs. They have to keep up with the very fast toggle lock action. I'm actually quite surprised that the springs in this magazine are as stiff as they are, being as how old they are. Okay. Put a few more rounds through it. Let's try a more traditional shooting style. This always was intended as a one-handed gun. Okay, and we have to click. Open that up. And 
Looks like the follower got stuck down a little bit. So. So this is an empty magazine, empty chamber. Yeah, follower just got stuck on that last one. I don't blame it. I haven't oiled it yet, and uh, it is a 113-year-old magazine. So I will excuse the malfunction. So very cool. First time shooting this gun. You just saw the first rounds put through it. A 113 year old 1906 American Eagle commercial Luger. Thanks for watching.